Henderson County residents are stepping up in a big way. What started in a garage has turned into a community-wide effort, now filling semi-trucks with much-needed supplies for those affected by Hurricane Helene in Tennessee. 44 News reporter Courtney Green has more on how this grassroots relief operation is taking shape. Henderson County residents started by collecting donations for Hurricane Haleem relief in a garage and are now filling up a semi-truck with the use of this warehouse. We started, I think it was a random Wednesday, and by Friday we were talking about warehouses and semis and going through the whole county. What organizers are calling a God-led effort, the Henderson community has come together to fill a semi-truck with donations. While it's fall break here in Henderson, two women, Megan and Brandy, are taking anything but a break as they spend their time organizing the relief effort. Brandy first reached out to the school system to spread the word. Then Henderson police and emergency management joined the effort. Officer Linda Upley of HPD has been instrumental in helping the women navigate the logistical hurdles. And so her guidance and wisdom on steps to take and how to move forward has really, really been beneficial for us. Thanks to the support of local businesses, the relief effort quickly grew. Jason Cohen with Silver Creek donated trucks and promised to finance as many trips as necessary. So it's not just this one, um, but Jason Cohen has graciously enough told us that um, however many semis we fill, he'll send down. A special thanks also goes to Silver Creek for covering the cost of fuel, $2,000 per trip, new look restoration for donating boxes, and Pittsburgh Tank and Tower Group for providing the warehouse space. The Henderson community is asked to donate non-perishable food items, baby supplies like formula, and cleanup materials. Volunteers are needed to help unload cars, sort items, and prepare pallets for shipping. Donations will be accepted at the warehouse from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. with the supplies destined for Bristol Motor Speedway in Tennessee. That site, equipped with a helipad, will serve as a distribution point to reach those in the hardest hit areas. Organizers are still looking for donations and volunteers to help here in the warehouse. To sign up, go to our website at wevv.com. That way you can find some details on the sign up as well as the sign up sheet. Reporting in Henderson, Courtney Green, 44 News.